Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Wiggers YouTube channel. Today we're here in St. Petersburg and today we are going to check out the St. Pete Pier. It's a really cool place to come and check it out. Maybe have a date night, maybe grab something to eat, do a little bit of shopping. Really like it here, so make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. Let's go. Like I said, we're here in the good old St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, we actually love coming down here because it's super like trendy area. Uh, a lot of like cute little like shops and stuff, especially on the weekends when there is um, uh, like a farmer's market here too. So uh, behind us there were some shops, ahead of us there's some shops, and then there's plenty of things to do along the pier. They revitalized this a few years ago, and yeah, there's yeah. a lot of cool things to do. There's the marinas right next to us over here too, so yeah, plenty of fun things. Uh, we're here because we're going to go to a concert later tonight. It's over at the Janice Live, which is just a couple blocks away, so it's a great place to come and spend a couple hours. So they got, as we're walking in here, we've got some shopping and some live entertainment, some street performers. Yes, cool. Let's keep going and see what else we can see. So over here is the St. Petersburg Museum of History. I've never been, but maybe we'll come back one day and check this out. Currently they have an exhibit, The Woman Who Built St. Pete. That's cool. They do have a tram, too, that will run you up and down the pier which is, uh, like I said, pretty long. So if you don't feel like walking, uh, you can ride the tram. We'll get a photo of that when it goes by, but for now we're gonna stick to the pedestrian walkway because otherwise you can run over. <laughs> or one thing that's really neat about the St. Pete Pier is they have all these kind of chill out, hang out sort of spots with all these Adirondack chairs. So when you get tired of walking or just want to sit down, hang out, spark up a lively conversation, got plenty of places to do that. Yeah. All right, one thing that's really neat about this area is there's a beautiful marina here with lots of boats. You can come down here and daydream about what it might be like to have a live aboard or maybe sail the ocean and maybe pick out your favorite one. And you see they got a tiki boat. So I was trying to say before I was told I was being a shot killer is this is the St. Petersburg Municipal Marina. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, so say it. I already said it, let's go. <laughs> All right, and without getting too creepy, there is a playground here for kids too. So they got slides and s swings and all kinds of fun stuff. And St. Pete does have a list of rules. So no skateboarding, motorized vehicles, climbing, alcohol, panhandling, all that stuff. Dogs must be on a leash. We got a couple options here for snacks, ice cream, as well as pizza and drinks. And as we go further on down, there are also some other restaurants further on down out into the, the pier that part of the pier that extends out into the water. So we'll get down there too. So this right here is actually the splash pad, but it's closed due to, due to maintenance. And also it's like February, or it's still January technically. So it's closed. <laughs> but in the summertime, kids come out here and play. It's kind of cool to watch. And on January, they come out here and play too. They ride their bikes. Yeah. And if you just can't help yourself and you have to get in the water, there's also a beach here, right there. And good thing to know too, is if you do get in the water, they do have these little rinse off stations too. So you get the sand off your feet. And I've never seen this anywhere. Oh my but gosh. But they actually have free sunscreen, SPF 30, right here. That on is the beach. reef safe. Oh my goodness. Big old dispenser. That's that's cool. Yeah. I don't know if I would use it, but that's kind of cool. Yeah, so St. Pete's a really neat town. I really enjoy coming here. Uh, I mean, it's really nice and classy. You know, all the restaurants and different shopping and everything around here is always really well done. So um, just really enjoy coming here. And if, you, if you're looking for a place to move, I don't think you could. You could do a lot worse than St. Pete for sure. You could. It's a little expensive to live here though. It's if you're trying to buy a condo or a house, it's a little pricey, but you get what you pay for. All right, and now we've got to the part of the pier that actually looks out over the water. So you can get a really good view of the water. It's not that deep here, but it is crystal clear. Yeah, low tide. And I didn't think I must be new I, on this. Did Susan I mention though. that there are street performers that like to hang out here? Yeah, I can appreciate everyone doing their thing. I can appreciate it. Yeah, you gotta learn somewhere. You gotta learn somewhere. <laughs> gotta give your safe break somewhere. For, and for that guy, learning somewhere is the same thing. <laughs> While it's not much, they do have a little nature boardwalk. You don't really see a ton of nature because it's uh, obviously man-made and it's tiny. But you know, maybe you see a bird. I don't know, maybe a crab. I think technically plants are considered to be nature, sir. Right. Well, there you go. There you go. Plants are nature. You, hear, you heard it here first. <laughs> Science with Christine. <laughs> <laughs> but check out that water though. It is beautiful. You enjoying looking at the water? The water is gorgeous. <laughs> I just never thought it would be behind a brass marching band. I just never thought that that would be two worlds in which they collide. But yeah. <laughs> you're here first, folks. Yeah. You get both in St. Pete. 
I think it just really adds to the ambiance. <laughs> totally. I think the guy only knows like four notes and they're all the same, the same in length. Hey, pelican. So there's not your wildlife on your wildlife trail. Not to be confused with the fake pelican on the left, the red one. That's the right, my love, the left, the left, the far wow. left. Okay. Yeah, there's a pelican over there too. Mm -hmm. And here they have snakes of the estuary. So this is the Tampa Bay Watch Discovery Center. I believe this is a rotating exhibit because we've been here before and mm -hmm. it wasn't snakes. It, it was some, coral reefs. Yeah, it's, it's usually something like nature related, but yeah. So if you're looking to pop in, learn a little bit of something, good exhibit for the kids. Why not? Sounds not like fun. Not for the Christines. I don't like the snakes. No, she's not a snake person. There is like a little municipal airport here too, which can be a lot of fun just to sit here and watch the planes come and go, particularly at nighttime. I really like seeing them come down with their lights and, and land on the, you know, the runways all lit up. looks beautiful. Take out the sign, bro. Take out the sign. Five miles an hour, buddy. <laughs> Straight behind me is St. Pete, uh, like pier, right? this is the end of the pier. Uh, there's a couple different restaurants in here, there's a bait shop, you can fish off the back of this. Uh, I think you also can dock your boat here for a short period of time to either go to the restaurant or get some more bait. Um, yeah, actually we've never been to any of these restaurants, maybe we'll try one today, we'll see if we can get in if there's not a, a dress code requirement or we can get in before our concert. And yeah. Proper place to come for date night, and I've heard the food here at Teak, and I think Teak's the one on the top, is actually pretty good. I briefly read a couple of things about the history of the pier. So before it was this structure, it was the uh, inverted pyramid. Before that, it was the million dollar pier, where it was a casino, and before that, it was like a like a spa attraction, real big kind of thing, and then it's just interesting how you kind of go back to the history and see the different iterations of it. But this the most recent one, I think it opened in 2018, 2019. Actually, no, I think it was 2020. It was, it was after we were here, so it was, I think it was right before COVID 2019. Um, but yeah, it's interesting how they just kind of keep revitalizing it and making it kind of new. Hi right, guys, we're gonna check out the, uh, the gift shop. My favorite part of any attraction. No, I can't resist anything with a mermaid on it. <laughs> Waterproof. Yeah. Surprisingly, they actually sell sunscreen here, even though they're giving it away for free just down the pier. Hey, you good? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a scammy business idea. Go get a bottle, <laughs> go down to the sunscreen place, just fill it up. There you go. Then you can sell it. Quarter pump. <laughs> Cause she wondered where you get cat butt magnets. This is the place. <laughs> is that what you were wondering? No, it's not what I was wondering. Thank you. So I feel about that salt life. Uh, half for 20 bucks. 28? Mm-hmm. Say so salty, my friends. We've also got authentic cards. I suppose those fake cards. So the gift shop is very typical for gift shop prices. Um, there are restrooms and elevators in there if you have to go up to get to the uh, other restaurants. So behind us right now is the is where you can fish off the back of the pier. And right over here is where you can get uh, bait and tackle as well as hot dogs and popcorn. So there you go. And lemonade. We did buy the lemonade here once before. Honestly, it wasn't that great and it was a little overpriced. So I don't think we'll be buying the lemonade there again today. You're really gonna dive bomb that, that business right in front of it? Yeah. <laughs> The pelican here hanging out trying to get some fish scraps. People are coming out here doing their doing their fishing and they got like a little cleaning area here with a bimini top so you can cut your catch and uh, clean it up. Here is a little bit of wayfinding so back that way is St. Petersburg. If we turn to our right way there in the distance you can see Tampa. That's where we enjoyed Gasparilla the other day. Really enjoyed that. If you haven't seen that video go back and check it out. Over this way, you see the Tico power station. That's where the Manatee Viewing Center is. We'll link that video down below. And then the rest of it is the bay. Uh, and if you were to go out here to the right past the airport, that's where the Skyway, Sunshine Skyway Bridge is. And that heads back out to the Gulf. And we've explored Tampa Bay several times on jet skis, on a pontoon boat. And we'll link those videos <laughs> down below as well. So you can see where the hot spots are in Tampa Bay, know where Beer Can Island is. That's super important if you're gonna be out there. Uh, and just what else you can do. So we're gonna go upstairs and check out what is upstairs. I think there's two restaurants, but we're gonna see what we can do one eat at. All right guys, so we're gonna head up to uh, level five, Pier Tiki in the observation deck. We're gonna see what is uh, options are for uh, like a early dinner there and then check out what we can see from the observation deck. Right. Let's go. All right y'all, it is freezing. <laughs> but here we are, we're in Pier Tiki. We're gonna take a lap and see if there's uh, anything other than a bar here, if there's a food option for us. 
And if not, uh, we'll go back downstairs to the Drifter Cafe on level two. There is a uh, pretty neat little tiki guy here. You can sit in his mouth. You know, I think when it's when it's not when it's not when it's not January, uh, it's probably a pretty neat place to come and hang out because you got a beautiful view of St. Petersburg here, for sure. So you can so there's like bar bites here, uh, but mostly this is a, this is more of a bar. So it's too cold. Beautiful views of the pier from up here. It's windy as all get out. Oh yeah, look at the view of downtown. A three hour tour. <laughs> but then all this wind, that sailboat is cooking. Yeah. yeah moving. Alright guys, we decided to get dinner at Teak. Um, so we we're told 5, 5.30 is when the movie will be set. We're kind of cutting it close for a concert, but maybe we're, we're going to be okay. So we'll let you guys know when we get set. Alright, all this got set. So we have the menu here. Plenty of options to choose from for cocktails. Beer and wine. And then here's the starters. As well as the handheld entrees and pastas. Yeah, so this restaurant's super cute. Uh, it's like teak wood, nautical themed, like the uh, turquoise chairs. Mm -hmm. it's definitely getting hungrier as the day goes on, so looking forward to munching down. Lewis is very excited. This is the uh, cast iron baked mac and cheese. It's got like Gouda, jalapenos, and other stuff in it. So he's very excited about it. It does look rather tasty. Ooh, it is hot and steamy. You're gonna burn your, you are gonna burn your mouth, my good sir. I'll blow it. Damn, it is really good. Um, yeah, so like I said multiple times on the channel, we are somewhat mac and cheese connoisseurs. Mm -hmm. uh, I say this one, it's got a mix, mix a really good mix there of creamy with the crunchy of the breadcrumbs, the shallots uh, give it a really bold flavor mm. that I really enjoy. Uh, and I don't really taste the jalapenos though, so it's not really hot, but very good. I like it a lot. Okay, guys. So I got the steak frites. And then we've got the fish and chips, and that looks really good. I wonder if it was fresh cut right here off the pier. Yeah, maybe. That would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, here, because we lemon on it first. Are you new here? Do you not yeah. know how to eat fish and chips? Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Oh, my gosh. Splash zone. It's Gallagher. <laughs> Struggling a little bit. Yeah, very good. Um, if you had fish and chips, you, you know, that's about what it tastes like. I can tell you that the batter is very crunchy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, overall I'd say it's just really good. Yeah. I like it. We'll try a little bit of the steak here. I don't want to take a you know, whole wedge. So this is six ounces of filet, beast or filet. Oh. And then these are truffle parmesan fries, they said. And yes, I get my steak medium rare, don't judge me. Yeah. That's good too, yeah. Um, it's got a really good steak flavor, but also not overly complicated with a lot of uh, extra add-ons. Mm -hmm. I feel like they pretty much just cut up a steak, yeah. cooked it right, put it on a plate. And that is a chimichurri sauce, but Lewis isn't like Greek yogurt, so he's not going to try it. Oh, yeah. That's why I didn't get this to begin with, but I'll try the fries. Oh. Uh, what are these? Um, Parmesan fries. Parme Parmesan garlic fries? Parmesan mm -hmm. fries. This is a better fries. Yeah. <laughs> I win. <laughs> How was dinner? So, so I thought dinner was great. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I thought everything was really flavorful. I love the atmosphere here. Yeah. I think you get a fantastic view. Um, honestly, I thought this place was more expensive than what it is. Mm -hmm. So really, I think you know, it's not a bad value. I think it's yeah. pretty good value. And I would definitely come back here again, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we got two entrees, an appetizer, a couple of sodas. Uh, they include service fee here is 20 20 percent is already included in your in your bill which i don't know i'm i'm not upset about it yeah. about what we tip anyways uh so all in all we're at 81 dollars yeah. for dinner which you're in yeah. touristy area on, in, right in, for in a an nice dinner spot. yeah it's not bad yeah. i guess it was amazing uh we are it might be a little late for our concert but we're gonna make it on time so hopefully on time and hustle over so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog and here's lewis with the pro tips hi guys so here are your pro tips for the saint pete pier i would say number one is it makes it a fantastic date night you can come out here at night time is to watch the planes land watch the sailboats go uh really good time just to kind of hang out stop slow down and enjoy life pro tip number two is make sure that you bring some uh cash tips if you want to sit around and enjoy some of the live music the street entertainers 
because everyone's out there trying to make a buck and uh, they definitely appreciate those tips. And number three is the pier is rather long and don't feel like you have to walk the entire thing. Like so there's plenty of places you can stop and stand, sit down along the way. And also they have a trolley that uh, rides back and forth for free. Although the trolley does accept tips as well. So another reason why you may want to bring a few of those single greenback bills. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Really help us out. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. Bye. Now am I allowed to say something? Well, this is B-roll. Oh, okay. You can put it over top one. Hey. So one thing that's really neat about the Tampa, one, so one thing that's a lot of fun to do is there's a beautiful marina here with lots of boats. And Christine's just shot killing me even though I oh. told her, hold on. So I didn't know, I didn't yeah. know. I thought right. we were supposed to say nothing. Right. Time me no, is. Good now? All right. Oh, so there's Driftwood Cafe. Okay, so we're gonna go to level two and check out the Driftwood Cafe. Evidently there are stairs and I must have missed those. So, okay. sorry. Go up to, I thought we were gonna go up to five here at Tikinok Observation Deck. But this is the other side of the building. Not here, I'm oh. you walk straight out there. Oh. I go on upstairs and check out what's upstairs. Yep, right, 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 okay. Now, we good now? Yeah, okay. takes a second to get the camera okay. going. Okay, so. Surprisingly, they actually sell uh, lo the lotion. Where it's Sunscreen? Yeah. Uh, gift shop is typically, typically take two. And say, uh, we went the video where we rented the boat with your dad and actually we took the boat around Tampa. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably a terrible stink. That person. was, that was more like you're eating corn on the cob. Yeah, I don't think that's going to make the cut. No, I'd be average route take though. There you go.